All right, I'm going to show you how to remove and install a new keyboard in a HP ProBook 6550B. You want to shut the lid, flip it over, and if you look down here, there is, I'm going to go ahead and twist it so we can see better. If you look, there's a little little icon it looks like a keyboard screw right here there's another icon right here looks like a little mini keyboard and there's one more right here if you just look right here it's a keyboard with an arrow pointing towards the hole there's a screw inside that hole Once those three screws are loose, I'm going to flip it back over, open it up. There's little tabs right here. You want to pull them down towards yourself. Once that's finished, you should be able to pop it up if you could get up under it. There you go. And then if you lift this little brownish, blackish looking thing on both sides here, you kind of lift it up, then this ribbon cable should pull right out of there. And on this one, on each side, it's, it's white. So lift it up and then pull this ribbon cable. It should pop out. Once you do that, you get your new keyboard. You want to make sure this is lifted up still so you can put your new keyboard in there. Alright, you want to put your your new ribbon in, press that down, and while it's pressed down you want to press down the white, uh, can you hold this camera, just like that, alright, it's almost impossible to do with one hand, but you want to press that down there, so it locks that ribbon cable in, and then you want to take this other ribbon cable, okay, and once that other ribbon cable is in there, you want to press those down also. And then you want to take the keyboard, put the bottom in first, press it down. You want to close all these little tabs here. Flip it over. You want to screw in your screws back tight. And once you do that, you're finished.